cooling of our transformer. In the case of the transformer, we know that there are two types of the losses that is core losses and the other one is the binding losses. The core losses is uh, because of the hysteresis and anti current loss. They are producing the heat. At the same time, whenever there is a current is start flowing, when the transformer is connected to load, the currents which are flowing in both the primary and secondary winding, at the same time, both the primary and secondary have got their inherent resistances. Because of that, there is a I square R loss that is also called as a binding loss or it is also called as a copper loss or it also called as a variable loss. Means there are two losses that is a constant losses or a core loss in the transformer as well as the, the variable loss or a copper loss in the winding of the, the transformer. Because of these two the losses the heat is generated in the transformer therefore you have to dissipate that particular heat therefore you are adopting the, the cooling of the, the transformer. Cooling of the transformer we are categorizing into two different parts one for a dry type of transformer that is for small the small capacity transformer the another one is the usual what we are seeing here is oil immerse type of the transformer these are the main two cooling purposes you are using for the the dry uh, type of transformer because in that case in the dry type you are not immersed the transformer assembled transformer in the the uh, tank which containing the transformer oil. whereas in the oil immerse type it is a name itself suggests that the transformer unit that is assembled transformer unit is immersed in the oil these are the two different types of cooling methods we were adopting for a smaller capacity transformer and high capacity transformers. In the case of the, the dry type transformer, we are using two different methods for adopting. One is air natural cooling, it is sh in short it is called as AN, that is air natural cooling system for the small capacity. The another method is we are using air blast cooling. These are the two methods we are adopting for smaller capacity transformer. For the large capacity transformer, the oil immerse transformers, there are different methods of cooling. One is oil natural cooling, oil natural air forced, oil natural water forced, oil forced air natural, oil forced air forced and oil forced and water forced. These are the different methods of uh, the cooling methods we are adopting for the better performance of the transformer and cooling of the, the transformer. The, for the dry type of uh, uh, transformer that is smaller capacity transformer you are adopting two methods one I told you air natural cooling that is a smaller capacity transformer which is a range in the range of 5 to 10 kilohertz. The external surface is sufficient to dissipate the heat then just you are using keeping our transformer in the wherever you are using then because of the natural the, the air around the, the transformer which is sufficient for cooling the, the transformer that is why it is called as air natural cooling that is for a smaller output the external surface is sufficient to dissipate the heat produced due to the loss you are not making any extra arrangement here you are keeping wherever you are using but the around the surrounding the, the transformer the whatever the air is there that is sufficient to cool the, the transformer such transformers are cooled by combination of air convention currents within the enclosing case and by natural radiation from the, the case itself. It is a natural cooling. Then the next method we are adopting for a smaller capacity transformer is air blast cooling. If you want a better cooling uh, method in that case, what we are doing is we, we are forcing the, some air on the, the transformer unit by with the help of the fan that is you can see here suppose this is a transformer unit then you are making use of fan or something like that then you are cooling the transformer by externally that is this type of cooling is used in dry type of transformers in this method of cooling 
the heat dissipation is improved apart from the natural the air around the transformer what we are doing by a continuous blast of air force to the core and the windings by the, the external source that is the fan here the air blast is produced by means of external fans or the the blowers you are using for forcing the air on the the transformer this type of cooling is uh, limited to transformer of voltage around it is not exceeding at 25 kilovolt it is used in a situation located in the thickly populated area where the oil is considered as a fire hazard therefore in that case we are going for the the dry type of the transformer in which we are using the forced air or air blast cooling methods we are using for the, the transformer the next method is it is used for the the higher capacity transformers the first method what we are adopting here is the oil natural cooling that is the total assembled transformer is kept in the the transformer tank which is containing the transformer oil in turn whatever the heat is producing in the the winding as well as the core that is dissipated in the that is it is radiated through the the transformer means the transformer oil will take the the heat of the the windings as well as the core in turn that heat, heat is transferred to the the tank surface in turn the track the surface is exposed to the the atmosphere then there is a natural the cooling purpose that is this map is the most usual method of cooling the transformer here assembled transformer is immersed in the insulating oil containing the tank but immersed in the the transformer in the transformer oil heat produced in the core and the winding is absorbed by oil and heat or heated oil that is heated oil transfer the heat to the tank that is to the tank in turn which it dissipates the, the surroundings this is how there is a cooling method is adopted in the that is you are seeing in the, the pole mounted transformer as such there is no any other extra thing that is just in the uh, transformer tank it is filled with the transformer oil in that we are having a, a transfer unit is placed so that it is a oil natural cooling method what we are adopting in the, the pole mounted transformers then the just little bit of improvement over the, the natural not only the natural apart from the natural the cooling then you are forcing the some air externally so that we will get a better cooling effect that is oil natural air forced cooling here also assembled transformer is immersed in the insulating oil containing the tank cooling is improved by the forced air or the cooling surface using the fan apart from the natural cooling from the, the surroundings you are using the fans for the better cooling effect usually by means of fans mounted external to the, the transformer the usually this forced air is achieved by the the external fans the next method what we are adopting here is oil natural water force cooling here also the assembled transformer is immersed in the insulating oil contained in the tank but the thing is that here the cooling is increased by circulation of water through the copper cooling coils mounted above the, the transformer core but below the oil surface the next method we are adopting here is the oil forced air natural that is OFN cooling method here in this method of cooling oil is circulated through the, the transformer with the help of pump and cooled in the heat exchanger by natural circulation of air in this particular method that is the extra thing what we are having here is there is a, a separate unit of heat exchanger then we have a pump then what we are doing here is instead of stagnant the transformer oil here then the whatever the transformer oil here is there using the pump what we are doing here is we are circulating we are sucking the 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 transformer oil which is flow through the heat exchanger here the heat is dissipated once again the cooled 
transformer oil is circulating to the the transformer tank. Then the in the heat exchanger, the whatever the heat is dissipated in the heat exchanger that is dissipated to the the surroundings here. That is why it is called as oil forced air natural the cooling here. The next method is oil forced air forced cooling. The improvement over here is that that is whatever there is heat is dissipated here of the transformer I which is because of a natural cooling of the surrounding atmosphere. To get the better cooling effect in the next method what they are adopting is the forced air which is on the, the heat exchanger with the external fan so that you are getting the better cooling effect of the, the transformer oil which is flowing back to the, the transformer tank. In this method of cooling oil is circulated through the, the transformer with the help of pump and cooled in the heat exchanger using air blast produced by the, the fans. These are the, the different methods of the cooling methods that what we are using for cooling the, the transformer.